In this video, I will be creating a provisioning package to install Google Chrome and Adobe Reader. I will also be using the provisioning package to set Google Chrome as my default browser and also Adobe Reader as my default PDF reader. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this package. First, I will be installing Google Chrome and Adobe Reader. Then I will be executing Ubi Setup PS1 PowerShell script to create a local administrator's account, keep privacy experience, and then execute Ubi Associations that will set Google Chrome as the default browser and Adobe Reader as the default PDF reader. And also the package will also skip the out-of-the-box experience. And that's basically it. Now before I can start creating my provisioning package, I need to download all the necessary files and I will begin with the software installation files. I will click on the links that I have here. We have a download link for Google Chrome, so I'll click on download. Here for the channel, I will leave it at stable. At file type, I will select MSI and then I will select, I mean, I will click on accept and download. This should start the Google Chrome download. Now let's download Adobe Reader. For the operating system, I will select Windows 11. For the language, I will select English. And for the version, I will select the only one that is available. And then I will click on download Adobe Reader. And that's basically it for the software installation files. And now I need to download the necessary scripts for the package. So we have Ubi Setup and also Ubi Associations. So let's start with Ubi Setup. I have it here. I will click on it. Here you can see the script. It will first execute the Ubi Association script. It will create a local administrator's account skip the privacy experience and also it will configure power options so that the computer does not go to sleep during the provisioning process. Anyways, I will click on the button right here to download this file and then I will select all the associations that I have here. And here we have the script that is responsible for setting the programs as the default programs in Windows. And as you can see, it is creating a, an XML file to tell Windows what I want for my default applications. And if you want to know how to create this XML file, you can check out the video that I have here in the bottom of the GitHub page. Anyways, let's download this file by clicking on the button right here and then let's go to the downloads folder. And now we have all the necessary files in here, the two scripts and also the software installation files. And that means that I can start creating my provisioning package and for that I will go to my Windows Configuration Designer. Here I will click on file, new project, I will name the project software installation. Let's click next. Next, here I will select all Windows desktop editions, click next and then finish. So first let's skip off the box experience and for that I will go to runtime settings, then Ubi, select a desktop. And here for height Ubi, I will select true. And now let's configure the software installation. And for that, I will go to provisioning commands. I will select primary context. Here I will select command and we need to create the commands that will be responsible for the software installation. So first let's create one for installing Google Chrome. I will name it install Google Chrome. Then I will click add here. I will select the command that appeared in here. Here we need to provide the command line to execute the installation and also the installation file itself. So first let's provide the file. I will click on browse and go to my downloads folder and I will select Google Chrome. And now for the installation command line, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have all the values that I will be using. And I will copy the line that you see in here. This basically executes the installation silently. Same goes here for the Adobe Reader. Now let's go back to the provisioning package, insert the value here. That's basically it for Google Chrome installation. Now let's create another command. This one is for installing Adobe Reader. So I'll name it install Adobe Reader. Then let's click add. Let's select the command here. Once again, let's provide the installation file. And then installation command. And also, if you're trying to make the same package, make sure that the, your executable name matches the executable name in the command. Because as you can see, the breeder has the version number in the file name, so in time it will change. Anyways, let's click on the button right here to copy the line, go back to provisioning package and insert it here. And that's it for the software installation. Now let's configure executing the PowerShell scripts. 
And for that, let's go to device context. Here, let's first select command files. Let's click on browse, provide the scripts that we want to execute. So Obi, Ubi associations and Ubi setup. Then let's click open, both files appeared in here. Let's click add and then file, uh, files appeared in the provisioning package. Now let's go to the command line and I will be only executing Ubi setup because Ubi setup will be executing Ubi associations. Now for the command line, once again, I will go to my GitHub page, copy this line, and then I will place it here. And as you can see here, we are executing PowerShell and then PowerShell will execute the Ubi setup PS1 script for us. And that's it. Now we can create our provisioning package. And for that, I will go to export provisioning package. Here I'll click next, 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 and then build. And now let's click on the output location. And here we have our provisioning package. And the only file that we care about in here is the one that has the extension ppkg1. So let's right click on the provisioning package. Let's copy it and I will move it to my USB drive. And now to test this provisioning package, I will go to my VMware workstation because here I have this Windows 11 virtual machine. As you can see, it is in the out of the box experience and to test the provisioning package, the only thing that we need to do is to connect the USB drive to this virtual machine. And then Windows will detect the provisioning package and it will automatically start the provisioning process. And the provisioning process will configure everything in the out of the box experience. It will install Google Chrome and Adobe Reader and also it will set Google Chrome as the default browser and Adobe Reader as the default PDF reader. So to connect the USB drive, I will go to VM, removable devices, I will select the USB drive that I want to connect and then I will click on connect. And as you can see, without any interaction, the provisioning process has started and now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, the provisioning process is over. Here on the desktop, we can see that Adobe Reader was installed and same goes for Google Chrome. And if I go to default applications, I mean default apps, then let's select Adobe Reader in here. We can see that Adobe Reader is the default PDF reader. And then let's look for Google Chrome. And here we can see that Google Chrome is the default browser. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.